Well, hi everyone, and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy, just with a quick update from Shamrock Banks Observatory. This is my session from last night, and this is a magnitude 18.3 asteroid. This is a main belt asteroid located between Mars and Jupiter, and it was seen from the Shamrock Banks Observatory uh, in 23 minute images last night. This is Messier 15, the Great Pegasus Star Cluster again taken with the RASA 11 and the ZWO 6200 monochrome camera. Next we have a small comet I took during July when we had quite a bit of smoke from the Canadian fires in the air. Directly in the center you'll see Comet 235P Linear. Here we have the main instrument of the observatory, uh, the RASA 11. This is a 620 millimeter instrument and on the front of it will be the ZWO 6200 camera which is a top of the line astro camera. And on the right you see the observatory and there we have a pier uh, set in a thousand pounds of concrete. The mount is a Celestron CGXL with a capacity of 75 pounds and a capability of tracking objects to within one half of an arc second. Here are the cameras that we use on the main instrument. These are ZWO 6200 cameras. One is a monochrome camera for black and white and fine detail, and the other is a color camera, which gives some remarkable views of nebula and other objects in space. Switching over to the 8-inch Ritchie Crateon telescope, which has a much higher focal length of 1,620 millimeters, we have M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy, we have the Eagle Nebula and the Pillars of Creation. And we have a newly discovered supernova in the Messier 101 galaxy, the Pinwheel Galaxy. And then to demonstrate the capabilities of the color camera, we have our nearest neighbor, M31, the Andromeda Galaxy. Once again, we have the Eagle Nebula and the Pillars of Creation. And then we have the Dumbbell Nebula and finish up with the North American Nebula. I hope that you've enjoyed this brief tour of Shamrock Banks Observatory and some of our capabilities, and I hope to see you on some of our live streams in the future. This is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan. Thank you very much for stopping by, and you take care.